We're going to use the areas of disturbed core that we've mapped out using the um, disturbance, marking disturbance function, uh, to mask off areas of core images that are disturbed. You can see in the table here, we've got disturbed areas from cores 3, 5, and 6 of uh, site 1553A, or hole 1553A. Top depth, bottom depth, and a note. Uh, and so what we want to do is identify those on the core images themselves. So it turns out that um, on an RGB image, red, green, blue, three-layer image, if you add a fourth layer, you can use that layer to control the transparency of the image, anywhere from totally transparent to totally opaque. And that's what we're going to do now. So here we are. Uh, we've got these disturbed areas. We've got uh, a bunch of <clears throat> uh, core images. Um, so let's first thing, let's take a look at the core images. And what you'll see down here, oops, all right, that right now these images are three layers, but they need to be four layers for this uh, scheme to work. So we need to go up to data say re-dimension waves and then we want to do open up S2 and add them all we'll just go to the top guy and say 4 and then it says set all layers to 4 now just before I do that take a look over here at the core image because it's going to disappear in a second And, oh, there we go. Okay, uh, it's blank. Now, why is it blank? Let's take a look at the matrix real quick. That's the R layer, the B layer, the G layer, and now the fourth layer, and it's all zeros. And zeros in this scheme means... Um, uh, means transparent. So what we want to do is change that to 255, which would be fully opaque. And we can do that by going up to COD image masking and say restore full image. And this does it for entire folders. And there we go. And there's your image. So anywhere between 0 and 255 makes this image anywhere from totally transparent to totally opaque. All right, so no save. All right, now let's go up to um, God image, image masking, and let's mask core images. Okay, um, we do all this in CSF, MBSF scale, so if these cores have been shifted, they'll be shifted back to uh, CSF. Yes. Uh, mass core images from 1553A, the transparency level. Um, yeah, let's make it 100. And did you remember, did, oh, did you remember to redimension the images to add a fourth layer? Yes, we did. Okay. So let's take a look at number three. Well, actually, that's a real light one. Let's take a look at number five. It's got a little more texture to it. Uh, God, image, plotting, append, uh, select a core image. Uh, let's say zero to 100 depth. OK, here we go. So here's that area that we made that we masked off. Let's let's do that again and change from a hundred to let's say let's make it zero. Totally transparent. Now what what you can do for fun, well that's your idea of fun go down, right click on somewhere outside the actual graph itself and find colors. And 
the graph background. So make the graph background something. I don't know. Let's try this. All right. Now if we uh, go back to the mask, you know, we could do, uh, well, let's say 125. That's about half strength, if you will. And yes, we did. Okay, so what you see is, you kind of can see the stuff, but it's been it's masked off by the color. So that's it. Uh, let's see. We can uh, let's try this. We do the first six. Got image plotting and images like so. We'll do a new one. Maybe zero to 100 depth. Here we are. We do the same thing here. Go to colors, graph background. We'll do that one. All right, we can finally, just for the heck of it, got image, plotting, processing. Let's go to uh, CCSF, spread the guys out a little bit, and let's see, COD data, uh, whoops, okay. oh, COD data, plotting, append data, so we got GRA, A, 0 to 100, right axis, that's depth, and CCSF. Uh, yeah, okay, CCSF is correct. And there we go. And again, the, the bad data are clearly marked. Well, maybe not right there. And some of it has actually been uh, removed. But you can see here, in this case, and to a certain extent that case, that these are bad points. So anyway, uh, that's masking your data. Uh, play with it. Enjoy it.